So this was about sure. 20 years ago now. Uh, and it was when the dot com and the internet was booming. So let's assume it was late 90s, early 2000. And I had, I get a call from the chairman of a board whom I had worked with, who was a client of mine. And he says, Lou, we're looking for a VP of marketing for one of my big ventures. Uh, and the president and the CEO isn't, he's looking for the wrong guy. Would you just go in and have him uh, develop your performance based job description? So I go in and meet this president and he, he didn't want me there. He said, I don't want to, you don't know what you're doing. Have you ever worked in this internet business? You've ever placed the VP marketing? And I was a recruiter and I wanted the search assignment, but I, and it would have been in today's dollars, three, 400. So it's a big job. It sure. wasn't that much then, but it was approximately, it was half that, but irrespective. Um, but I was only going in there to define the work. I never wasn't, and the, the guy who brought me in just wanted me to have the president rethink how to think about work. He says, I need somebody who's got a master's degree from a top school, uh, a master's in engineering and in business. Have you ever hired people like that? I need someone with five to eight years experience doing this exact thing. And he, and I need someone from only the top schools, only the, here's Stanford, Caltech, or, uh, Ber I mean, it was, he was really giving me this list of world-class person. Uh, and I just, and he didn't want me in the room. Uh, he was really discounting me so he could talk to the board and say, I talked to Adler, but he's no good and I don't want him. Uh, so I just said, Lee, let me just ask you one question. And this is after a half hour of being berated. So, I mean, this was not insignificant. Sure. Uh, and I was taking a lot of heat, uh, but I'm from the Bronx. And so I didn't care in manufacturing. You take this heat all the time. Uh, so I said, Lee, let's assume you hire a great person, whether it's me or anybody, you hire a great person. It's a year from now. And the person is a remarkable person. And you want to give this person an extra bonus and an extra share, maybe even promote them into some bigger role. What would this person have accomplished over the course of the year where you could confidently tell the board, this is an outstanding person? He just stoned silence. He said, what a phenomenal question. You finally asked a good question. It was actually the first question I asked. So it didn't <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, but he said, create a three-year product roadmap that details exactly how to leverage our engineering capability, overlay that with what the market and the technology and the internet inner space is, and it was all infrastructure that space is, and how we can maximize our product development without adding a lot of uh, R&D funds, but maximize our critical technical skills and building a detailed product roadmap that gives us a chance to grow 2x over the next three years. I said, Lee, if I could find someone who could do that work, and I will not compromise on that work, could do that work, but didn't have exactly the experience you wanted, didn't have exactly the engineering background you wanted. Obviously, they have to have some of that background. I couldn't do the work. Would you right. at least see the person? He said, absolutely. Right. He hired a, somebody for me four weeks later who could do that work. Right. So the idea is to convert this mindset of what skills, experience, and personality looks like into an outcome, and then just say to them, would you at least see somebody who can, who's accomplished that? And I tell my clients, I will not compromise on their ability to do the work. You just give me the, don't get hung up on the skills and experience. If they can't do the work and aren't motivated to do it, fine, don't hire them. But don't worry about everything else. Worry about, can this person do that work that you need done? And that right. was the game changer. That was the game changer.